They've let us off the tour bus again in Golden, Colorado, and we are going to be walking through the, Gold, the Golden History Museum, which I got to see a preview of as the bus drove past, and we're gonna. Have, this is gonna be fun. My man, his name is John Gregory. Was the first white person who discovered gold up in the mountains here, ways. And he told his friend Tom Golden, who for whom the town of Golden is named for, about that, and to they like going to swear to secrecy to keep it. And of course, we know how well that secret was kept. <laughs> We are entering through the back door and the kitchen, obviously. This is one very nice stove. You get a whole six burner here. And this just goes off into a whole separate room. Wow. This is a, as like log cabins go, this is big. So you have to come in awesome. before you can see how beautiful this sewing machine is. But, and it's on cabinet, and it's a foot to treadle. So here's the front door. Is it a piano or is it an organ? I'm not sure. Yeah. But makes me think of Lori Ingalls Wilder. They had an organ. Oh my goodness. So here's their weaving. And then, okay, we've got a stove over here. The bed doesn't look very comfortable. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the question is if they have the, if it's a rope bed, it might be very comfortable. The people of the mountain community up there um, in 1876, which is the year Colorado became a state. Um, and it was, it served as the community schoolhouse up through the 1950s. Well, okay. Is that an inside blue? So we've got the hooks. This is how it is still considered unsanitary to have bathrooms and doors. Oh my goodness! Is this actually, or is it a closet? I think so. I think it's a closet. Okay. That is a closet. What was it originally? Meanwhile, we have the hooks for your hats and coats, and a little bench for changing your shoes. And into the classic one-room schoolhouse with a chalkboard one and another chalkboard. And another chalkboard. Hey, these chairs are not in proper order. The big one is in front of a smaller one. Rules for teachers in 1870. Sorry, sorry. Yes, I said 1872. So you had to keep your room clean as well as work with the kids. This is for 1860, so a little bit before the war. And look at how look how big Kansas is, and all, all the ter Nebraska territory. I did not realize how big Nebraska territory had been. And Indian territory looks exactly like the shape of Oklahoma. Wow. Colorado does not exist. So we have been let loose from the tour and sent off to explore the town and get, our, get lunch. And the building right here I am walking along was built in the 1870s for the city of Golden as their first legislative and sort of municipal building. So Golden has, I'm just on the street corner in front of said, let me turn around and now you can see this is now the Capitol Grill, and I'm going to stop in for lunch because I've been smelling their barbecue, and oh my god, it smells amazing. That top howdy folks has such a 50s ring to it, doesn't it? The Golden History Museum has, not only do we have a fun ex exhibition that I get to myself in the corner, I have a scavenger hunt. Okay, this uh, giant heart. I kind of assumed it was coal or something like that, but check this out. It is a clay mine. This is a snow shovel from the 19, from 1920. And um, look at the metal tip on a wooden shuttle, shovel. Here's a really fun bit of Colorado gold rush memorabilia. 
I don't even know how you say it. Sluis, sluis, that word. Here's a later little modern convenience. Check out the radio, record player, and television. That's sexy. Right. Check out this beautiful piece of furniture. Oh my goodness. I feel like I've seen this photo before or something about this disaster before, but there was a mine that had 730 deaths. As somebody with a master's degree in cinema, oh my God, look at this old projector. Oh my God, this is fun. All right, I've got some more bicycle history to show with you, share with you guys as much best I can. The reflect probably the reflections are terrible. But all the bicycles. Okay, wait a minute. This is fun. However, wait for it. This is my favorite. So, have you ever thought about why is it called Jolly Rancher? Well, it's coming from Colorado, where there's plenty of ranchers. And they're probably a lot more jolly when they can have some sugar, just like everybody else.